Sorry about the noise, I got a fan going on. What I did was I got two chicken breasts, full size, sliced them in half, and then I soaked them in a combination of a half a cup of vegetable oil, uh, one cup of apple cider vinegar, and one egg, and some Traeger seasoning, and I left it in there for about four hours. And I just took them out, laid them out, pat them dry, somewhat dry, and put them on here. Over here, it's going to be hard to cook with one hand, I got some uh, teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to kind of put all that together. Get it moving. And then what I'm going to do is just lightly coat. Both sides of the chicken. Kind of give it a little spanking. Flip it. Redo the other side. Next over at the stove, I'm going to uh, put about two and a half tablespoons of uh, butter in a pan. And in another pot, I got the steamer tray in here and uh, I got the water starting to boil. That's going to be pretty much for the broccoli. So let me get this uh, nice and melted and then we're going to brown up the chicken. I'm just going to throw the chicken in there. Nice hot skillet. You'll be able to do three pieces at a time. I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to brown all four pieces. Got these little tongs on Amazon. I love them. Time in Maine. If you ever go to the Kittery shops or the outlets, um, Go to the Lou Crusade place because they've got these pots and they will last you forever. They're, they're heavy duty. You get some great bargains on them. But anyway, I'm going to brown these up and when I'm done browning them, I'm going to pop them out. Then I'm going to start the cream sauce in the same pan. While the uh, chicken is getting done, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Uh, take a fresh broccoli. And I'm just going to cut the, I like large florets. Anyway, you're going to get the idea before I cut my hand off here. Just uh, cut it up into nice florets. I got two more or another one and another one here that I can do. So I'm going to do these up and get them ready for the steam basket. So I got the chicken. I put it in a bowl because I want to keep the drippings. And then I got the pan here. I'm going to add a little bit of Jameson whiskey. Be careful when you're doing this. First it down to medium low. And then what I'm going to do Add about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of some heavy cream. And I'm going to let that kind of deglaze in the pan. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, mushroom. Normally I use fresh portobello, but I only had canned on hand. So, you don't have to use these. You can use sun-dried tomatoes if you want. After this, I'm just going to add some garlic, minced garlic. Probably about two cloves. I'm going to add some onion, just some sweet Vidalia onion. 
I'll break that up and get it separated. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of Madeira wine, just just a bit, not even probably like four tablespoons. And I'm going to let this and let this cook down a little bit. And uh, let's see, I'm going to add some salt. Just gotta kind of eye it. Some gourmet black pepper. Just gonna put a little bit of that in. Sorry about the camera work, I've only got one hand. And uh, another spice I really like to use is uh, it's kind of hard to get. But it's the uh, spice under uh, Cajun Creole seasoning. I'll put a good amount of that in there. It's got a little bit of nutmeg. It's got it smells really wonderful. And uh, I turn the heat back up to medium low. Get this thing boiling. So I'm going to bring it up to like a somewhat of a boil, and then I'm going to add some spinach to it, wilt it down. Alright, we got the uh, cover off of the off of this. We got the water starting to boil up again the steamer basket. And I'm just gonna add my broccoli to that. And I'm gonna cover it up. Let it sit for about six minutes. Meanwhile this is starting to go, so what I'm going to do is add a good fistful of spinach. Maybe a little bit more. I like spinach. And we're just going to play with that and just let it sit and let it wilt down. And once and taste the sauce with a spoon. Once you taste the sauce with a spoon, you may change it to your liking. You might want to add a little more salt, a little more pepper. Um, you may want to add garlic powder or some more seasonings of a different kind. Um, hell, you might even want to. Let's see. I tasted it, and I think I want to add a little bit of Worcestershire. So. We'll let this wilt down, let it all come together, and then what I'm going to do is add the chicken. It's been about six minutes. Ooh, broccoli is looking delicious. So that's ready to go. Kill the heat on that. This here is wilted down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the chicken, and we're just going to kind of lay it down in here like this. Kind of coat it a little bit. And then I'm going to I'm going to add the juice that accumulated. that in there as well and then we are ready to plate up okay so on the plate here I'm gonna drop some broccoli just a little bit then I'm gonna move this over here And then I'm going to grab my tongs and we're going to grab this chicken. I'm going to bring that over. So what I'm going to do now is take one of these chickens, coat it, and then I'm going to gather up some of the mushrooms and spinach. I'm 
I'm going to bring that right over and plate it. And then I can actually get a little bit more of the sauce, put it right over. And that's my version of Tuscan Chicken Madero. So, you ought to try it sometime.